This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by recent Indie Mayhem show guest Tom Liturgy is doing a class at the Community College of Allegheny County, The History of Professional Wrestling in Pittsburgh. Find out more information on our link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Live from the Sorgatron Media Studio in Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 590 Tuesdays. We've been getting ready together here to celebrate pro wrestling on Tuesday nights. Uh, and I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter uh, here in Pittsburgh. We got an awesome, awesome, awesome crew with us this evening. Um, of course, we got coming from... Pooh, Kipsy New York is the only one of the Mayhem show with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike doing the hashtag Mad Mike dance. Yes, uh, Sorg, it's a good day. The Yankees are winning. I'm wearing a Johnny Gargano shirt. Thank you, WWE. Buy one, get one a dollar. And Sorg, New York Comic Con this weekend, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and see some wrestlers. There you go. Hey, which shirt was a dollar? Was it that one or... Um, uh, well, I got I got four shirts, Sorg. I got Johnny Gargano. I got Elias because hashtag Mayhem Bump. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a Lethal Leap Year shirt. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. And I got a shirt from my buddy that I took to uh, NXT TakeOver because they were out of Bobby Roode shirts when we got to the merch stand. Awesome. Awesome. There's a, yes. there was, there was a lot that went into that. Uh, also with us is, he joined us uh, brief, last night for a Two Truths and a Lie on the Raw wrap-up. He is, see you later, Larry. Hi. <laughs> How, how's 205 Live going? I'm on the live feed right now. You're on, oh, okay. Enzo was doing a really long promo and I turned it off. Pew. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, the experiment's going well. He called, he, call, he called Kalisto a red hot chili pepper and then it went downhill from <laughs> there. Gold. Wait, so was he Flea or Anthony Kiedis? I don't know. He looked like something out of Dragon Ball Z. I, so okay. probably That's, Flea. That works. Well, no, he had too many clothes, too many clothes on for Flea. I don't know. Jeez. Okay. Know. Uh, with us over on the couch, first of all, is Chad the Enzo. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the hair is back. A couple of haters. A couple of <laughs> all night. All Make night, it. yeah, dropping dimes, dropping dimes, yeah. <laughs> but how can you drop dimes if you have zero, zero dimes? I have zero dimes for you, Yankee fan. Oh, oh, man. oh. oh and- I'm so much upset they don't have a team in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> no, my sport starts tomorrow. That's right. I think you guys are on the same page. Uh, and also with us, you might notice if you're on the video feed here, Honey Badger is joining us. Hello. 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 And of course, we're going to have, have a great interview with you for Indie Mayhem Show after this. So stick around for that. If you guys are on the live feed or check out or subscribe to Indie Mayhem Show for that. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank so, you for having me. All right. So uh, you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can drop us a line to the email address. Good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. And you can also follow us Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Check us out on the Facebook, the Facebook group where a lot of discussion is happening. And subscribe to the show on uh, audio version on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, uh, Google, Google Play Music, whatever podcast they're calling it these days. And uh, wherever you like to catch your pods, whatever apps are out there. And let us know if we're missing from anything where you like to listen to or watch your podcast, and we'll try to get it there, too. And check out video versions on the Facebook and the YouTube page, where we are streaming a bit, but the chat room where a lot of the action is happening is on uh, the Facebook page every Tuesday night at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can get a quick link to that at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. 
And uh, thanks to our Patreon supporters as well. You can check that out at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, where you guys are literally helping us keep the lights on here in the new studio. Uh, at the fan of the show, dollar level, our friend, Bo Diggity! Woo! Our boy Ed Burke. Alex Carr is out there in Cali with Occupy Pro Wrestling and Power to the Smarks on Twitter. Bobby F. J. Town and the Pocket Club $5 level. They get the gold content and random rantings about Comic Con and how much it's really going downhill in New York City, apparently, with Mad Mike. Uh, Tina Keys also out there on the West Coast. Christopher Bishop. And at the Pizza Club $10 level, getting a state of the show, uh, which I'm going to be filming very soon, is uh, Billy F. Johnson over there in West Virginia. Again, you can join us at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show for that. And I want to give a shout out friend of the show, Brandon, um, down there in around Kansas city. Uh, he'll be part of a participant in the 2018 special Olympics as part of the team, Missouri bowling team. We have links in the show notes, uh, for you guys to, uh, go help him out and donate to his cause there. Uh, let's help somebody with the mayhem family, uh, get, a, get, you know, become a part of this and, and help him with his trip to Seattle next next year uh seattle where where i believe tina is up around so maybe you guys can connect out there and have a, a mayhem mini gathering of sorts so let's get brandon into is brandon is probably easy the easily the most athletic of all of us yeah, yes yes i only i'm only an amateur uh well i guess it's <laughs> amateur if it's olympics but anyways you i've seen his numbers and and i think i think he's he's tough competition um so anyways hey guys Larry, I know you were surprised. You know there's a pay-per-view this weekend. There is a pay-per-view this weekend. I was really surprised considering we had one just two days ago. Two days ago? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's accurate. No. It's, no, it's no, not. no. It feels no. like it though. So I had I had, you know, like we said here on the show, like we kind of went from holy crap, there's another pay-per-view to where did all the pay-per-views go after SummerSlam? Now we're back to holy crap, there's like, a pay-per-view. Like you can't adjust to this. Right, no. if you're trying to keep up with it, right? No, it's like daylight savings time every other week. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I I see that, I see that. Um, the part that confused me is I keep forgetting which show has Hell in a Cell, so I'm watching things on Monday night, and you're watching the setups. Oh yeah, and like I, I see something happen, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be really great in Hell in a Cell. Oh, oh no, they got oh no, and and yeah. and because they're they're advertising on both shows. Yeah. Obviously stronger tonight on SmackDown, but it's in they're still like strongly setting up for pay-per-view stuff. And I can't like distribute that. So you just have to look for, for which show is using furniture and which one is just talking about jails. That's pretty that's that's usually the solid indicator. Wait, is that what you drew from the last two nights? Yes. Jails? Jails. Hell, yeah, the Uso Penitentiary. Oh, oh yeah. I, yeah okay. I'm I'm not locked in with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is locked in with me. Oh. Dead man walking. Like, so so stealing every like I'm, movie quote from a jail movie. Yeah, basically, I'm just surprised Ed Norton didn't pop out and say, "I thought you guys had it all figured out." <laughs> By the way, that's a spoiler alert from a movie in 1994. <laughs> You're welcome, Aaronet. <laughs> That's what Netflix is for, right? Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> I know we have at least two Hell in the Cells, and we we're even trying to track down, like, were there more there announced that we just kind of missed on, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, of course, we just saw the end of uh, SmackDown here with uh, Shane O'Mac and and uh, Kevin Owens. And uh, I, I know, I know, I know, Badger, you were getting really <laughs> irritated at some of the some of the stuff around that, like, well, especially the, the Sami Zayn stuff from the week before, right? It's It's just annoying. Like, I mean, I'm still, I'd, I'd say young in the business. So like, I, you know, maybe I, I mean, they're, they know what they're doing because they're making a lot more money than I am with wrestling. But the first thing you do when someone has a neck or a back injury is not jangle their neck around and then pick them up by their shoulders. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's, it's just, there's, there's, I think that's standard WWE procedure. Well, of course. <laughs> when you get to that level, they just shake you a lot. Which explains why so many people are on the shelf. Constantly. They're like, hey, let's get exactly. them on this stretcher. I started really noticing. I don't know if it's because you made that <laughs> comment, but I started noticing when they were trying to like keep Kevin Owens away from him, very conveniently not on hard cam side. Like It's like when everybody's talking to each other but facing one direction completely naturally, you know? 
So, which good on the rest, but also weird when there's like four of them just lined up, not really being helpful and just waving <laughs> their arms around, right? So, but but still, yeah, it, it, it does start to stick out at this point. Um, or, or when they got out to the the hallway and you're just like, oh, where'd everybody go? Why is nobody buying Kevin, nurture right Kevin now? Kevin Owens can... the wall. <laughs> of security <laughs> holding back like because that's natural yeah that's kevin, what, kevin that's what Owens. happens all the time when i go to a live yeah. show is they let us in one by one to the merch table past that wall of security yeah, yeah exactly that's a new standard now actually. exactly versus indie shows when that happens and it's just kevin get out Owens, of the way and kevin owens had the foresight to get everybody out of the way and clear it off and get security to you know make this wall he was very considerate because he knew something may may happen, so mm-hmm. he, care, he cares about the fans. <laughs> Just not that kid that wanted a high five when he was heading back down. <laughs> yeah, screw ring. that kid. Right? Hard, knock, <laughs> hard knock life for that kid. The He's only way learn that would have been acceptable is if they would have done a wall of death, like right after. <laughs> like that's the only time that that would have been acceptable. For those that have not also been to uh, uh, metal shows or or anything, there was a wall of death. Can you explain that to them? Yeah. So wall of death is um. I'm too old to do that shit anymore, but everybody like splits. Like it's usually the the band tells them like we want a wall of death and these idiots do this and they all stand there and they like wait for like the epic breakdown and then they just run as hard as they can and slam into each other. And like some people do like backflips and and then it's just this sea of people. Oh, that would have been amazing if yeah, I would have if Owens that, would have went and just clapped, and then Shane was just murdered. <laughs> just people just, we just wham. They're just like, like, like Shane's, oh. Shane's like building up, building up, and just yells, "Here comes the money! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Wall of death!" Yeah, yeah, but it's all wrestling fans, so it's just kind of a lot of tripping and flailing. Let's be honest. That's what we'd be and doing. A of, uh, and a lot of hitting with like foam hacksaws. And <laughs> foam hacksaws. All the foam weapons from the table are just Someone out. has a briefcase. Exactly. That's the only thing you got to worry about. But it's not the briefcase. It's the briefcase lunchbox. Oh. You know. No, they, they have a briefcase too. Oh, I know they do. But I'm just saying that's the thing that somebody would grab instead. The sharp corners. That's well, who threw the briefcase in the ring that one time at a show? And oh, hit, yeah. hit what's his name and hit with it. <laughs> Like at a live show or something, wasn't it? Yeah, someone that was threw just their someone brief- trying to catch. Get stitches. Someone threw their briefcase at him, and it's like it's a heavy was briefcase. It Roman? I think it was, somebody I think threw it was their briefcase Roman, at yeah. Roman. Yeah, yeah, I think it yeah was they Roman. were in the ring. <laughs> they were in the ring. Like, okay, there's there's some stuff going on, guys. Um, I I know we're uh, kind of goes along with the wall of death a little bit. I I understand that Alex out there. Better than a mosh pit. Uh, Alex is out there is apparently getting a ta- Alex Miller, not uh, cars, is getting a tattoo while watching this show right now. Is it a tattoo of the WMS logo? If because not, it should be. While he's in there, can you get that added on? Just get yes. a little certified G at the bottom. There you go. Or, there you or go. post a photo just, or it just get happen. a tattoo. Get a tattoo of Chad's head. With the Enzo ma- with the Enzo wig on. There you go. You want to? You want to? Hold on, hold on. Let's give you a pose. Let's give you a pose right there. All right. See this now? Now screen cap this right now, and you can zoom in on that. Give that to your tattoo artist. Ask him to mock it up. <laughs> you don't. You don't want that anywhere on your body. Oh no! no I need to take a picture of that. That's our. That's our show like graphic again. That's amazing. All right. We're gonna do some art with that later. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> like a, give me a Warhol print of it. Jeez. Like the um, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Uh, Ra- Rachel's saying people do the same thing when we uh, launch new bath bombs at Lush. Oh, the wall of death. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I guess that's also called Black Friday, right? Um, re- actually, Sorg, we in the retail business, some call some of us call it Gray Thursday now because we can't eat our fucking turkey all day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My condolences to those who have to do that on Thursdays. That's a shame. That's I a got shame. out. I got out when it was still Fridays. You got lucky, sir. I got out right when it was like no, it was midnight. Dean that got hit with the briefcase. Tina just cleared that up. Who was that? It was Dean that got uh-huh. hit with the briefcase. Tina cleared that up. Thank you, Tina. T- Tina's, yeah. Tina's like our historian out there. I knew it was one of them shield guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It seemed like it was always a shield guy that was getting messed with for like three months there, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So. You mean Seamus and Cesaro now, right? Yeah. 
with with, with the inflatable uh, balls and getting your teeth knocked out. <laughs> I was talking about them ripping off uh, uh, the shield. Was that Monday Night Raw? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like them in The Miz? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm jumping the only, around. The only problem I, I, I found with that is like, fuck off, Miz Rush. <laughs> like, <laughs> see you guys later. Cesaro and Sheamus came out. I'm with them now. Mm-hmm. We got three above average wrestlers now. <laughs> you guys can get out of here. We don't need you anymore. I was a little worried I mean, because we were like, oh, it's completely going to be the Shield of Mistrage, right? And it's like, wow, is that really going to be... Uh, like, I mean, yay, like the Shield's They called back. it audible halfway through the show. It's like, you know what? That don't look good. You better send out yeah. Cesaro and Sheamus. But you look back and you're like, oh, of course that makes sense because... They're doing stuff yeah. with them. He's doing stuff with Miz. Miz is the important one there. Yeah. I, I just hope this means that Miz actually puts Cesaro in a movie. Because Cesaro needs to be like the boot like Jason Statham that can actually do stunts. Ooh. Uh, just a very, very tall Jason Statham. So so what yes. characters does Cesaro play in the next Ninja Turtles movie along with Seamus? Because he can't be Bebop. Something without teeth. Ooh. <laughs> Something without teeth. Um no, um Han. Hmm? Let's what? have Cesaro play Han. Han? Han. I don't know Han. Like uh like like the leader of the like the um like um the guy from Ninja Turtles 2. Like it, he wasn't named oh, Han. Tatsu? Then, but, like, the, the bald guy. Yeah, Not Tatsu Tatsu was in Ninja Turtles 2, but in the comics his name is Han. Oh. He's, he's just like a big burly badass. Oh, I think they have him in the cartoon, don't they? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. we're, we're deep cutting on Ninja Turtles. Sorry about that, guys. Deep I don't know what podcast this is anymore. Um, but anyways. Hey, we were talking about Cesaro still. I am wearing kind of a semi-Ninja Turtle shirt today, so it fits. Um, are you throwing stuff over there? Hey, how you doing? You okay how you there? doing? How What's you doing? Happening? How you doing? <laughs> that was me. I, I, I still this. can't get over that. That was me. Cup of hate. I accidentally clipped this. Oh, okay. This oh, cup of hate. That's something like fell out of my pocket. Cup of hate is. Um, anyways, so... Both in, uh, Tina, Tina says uh, she thinks both incidents were in the Victoria, Vancouver area shows. Wait, so Canadians. Last ones I thought we were going to get involved with shows. Uh, back to Hell in a Cell. And actually, before we get to more Hell in a Cell, I do want to mention, uh, we have actually a friend of the show, uh, Tom Liturgy. We talked with him on Indie Mayhem show, and that's coming up uh, this coming week. Uh, it's going to be released in a couple days. Check out the Indie Mayhem show. Uh uh, feed on uh, all the places uh, that you get your fine, fine podcast and video version. It's going to be on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, while some folks may recognize him as the in-ring voice for some of the local promotions, I think we were talking, He's he's been at like every promotion. He's he actually been at RWA, done P- PWX, is a standby at KSWA. Uh, he's actually on uh, to promote something a little different on the show. Uh, they're doing the history of pro wrestling in Pittsburgh, uh, a class he will be conducting through CCAC at their North Campus up on uh, Perry Highway in McCandless. That would be north of Pittsburgh, guys. Um, mm. That's like, you know, Whole Foods territory, I believe, if I get my geography right. Uh, but uh, or, or you can click on the ad we have over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and you go directly to the class and description and... I'm sure directions uh, and information on uh, how to register. Uh, we will also be sharing the registration information on our social media for the Mayhem Show. That's at Mayhem Show on Twitter, Wrestling Mayhem Show on Facebook. Uh, so be, f- be sure to check it out. Had a great uh, about an hour conversation with him about wrestling and uh, and a lot of stuff in the area. So and we've been getting a lot of this between uh, him and Shirley Doe uh, came up last week on the Indie Mayhem Show, and I know I heard great things from uh, some old standbys in the area like Norm Connors and Joe Dabrowski about the interview. Uh, so, uh, really kind of digging deep into some of the local stuff here as much as we try to get, you know, kind of all over the place. Uh, but we're getting a lot of really cool stuff about the history here in our backyard. So go check that out again, check out the link over at wrestling show dot com, uh, for that class. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, they, they had a class on Bruno San Martino and they're going to be actually going to be having another one. And Bruno oh, actually Bruno. came in, I think the last part, what's that? I said, oh, Bruno, I sat on his lap when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> he was like best friends with my grandfather so i was like cool. oh that's awesome that's awesome yeah and anybody that's running to bruno you know either at an event or or in public i guess you know like I, nothing but good things to say about him like he's like a super cool guy i've had a, a, the, the opportunity to... he's like the sweetest man yeah like, that ever walked the planet he flew from like something wwe or it was probably f back then related to come to my grandfather's funeral 
which like hearing that story like later was like crazy. Wow. Yeah. So like super sweet, man. That's amazing. And, and I'm glad to see him in good graces with WWE and like, you know, like on a bigger stage, everybody kind of relearning about him a couple of years ago too. So that's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, and they're actually going to be doing uh, the history of Bruno San Martino. I believe that session is also coming back uh, in the near future. So kind of keep an eye on CCAC uh, website for that uh, too. Really cool. Like it, it, it you know, it, it, it could become an accredited class sooner or later too. You know, if, if this keeps going, they keep coming back and kind of building it. I mean, it really is a, I think is as much a history of this town as you know, I know we were joking before the show about the pirates, uh, but you know that sports history. There's a sports history museum, and that really, and I, mm-hmm. I don't haven't been there for a while. I don't think they have pro wrestling represented in there, but they kind of should be, mm-hmm. right? If they if they would, it would be Bruno. I mean, Kurt's in there. Kurt Angle's in there, of course, for his Olympic stuff, yeah. and I, I I don't know of anything else. And I, I can't. It's been like probably ten years since I've been in there. So I need to make a point to get back. It, <laughs> he just Enzo. Uh, Enzo gets it's a, his wing gets a hold of me every once in a while. He just got you just got to do the move. Yeah. And that's what the video version is. That's for. not a dance. That's him trying to shake that. Like, it's like the it's like, scratch it's like the little little uh, globs of green stuff in Futurama that get on your head. <laughs> I I thought that was how he got rid of wedgies without actually picking at his ass. <laughs> That doesn't. Okay. Uh, no. Anyways, it's called rhythm. <laughs> is it? Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called rhythm. All right. Let the so, rhythm move you. Shane and Owens. We we were talking about off air. Um, pretty much, we're we're we can't wait for. What were you, Chad? You were saying like if if Owens just chucks him off the top. If of the... Owens throws Shane McMahon off the top of the Hell in a Cell. I will be ecstatic. I'm going to be extremely surprised if Triple H doesn't come out. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't what? know. I just got that feeling like he had butted Vince McMahon, so the whole McMahon family is going to come out and beat up Kevin Owens and tell him so. That's all I'm getting. Yeah, but he, but he didn't Maybe touch Owens Steph- will throw every single one of them off the hell in a cell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. He has to do something really creepy with Stephanie is apparently the role, right? Uh, That's what happened last time. Who who did that last time? Was that was that Orton? Orton. Orton. It was Orton. That was Orton. Yeah. Yeah. So and I don't know. I don't know if they'll go that direction. You know, Orton, the guy that got really angry with Jinder Mahal because oh, someone slapped his Hall of Fame father, who he punched <laughs> in the head not ten yeah. years earlier. Maybe <laughs> maybe Owens will throw all of Shane's children off the Hell in a Cell, or try to, <laughs> not actually throw them because that would be boy. <laughs> Well, a lot of people would end up tuning in to see it. Though, I don't know how they could use crazy. a wire. They could use a wire. How old was Stephanie when she was like starting to become involved with the storylines? Right? I mean, uh, I okay. I think those kids are still pretty young. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I mean, yeah, didn't they tie off Stephanie off the to a herself. stake and like Undertaker's cross and like raise her in the air? Yep. I don't think she was twelve though. Was she? <laughs> <laughs> I think Shane's kids are no, like when, Ste- when Ste- all right, this is true. When Stephanie was like twelve to sixteen, she posed in the WWE magazine. Really? That's legit. Like in in the in the shop section. Oh, Stephanie like she was, was wearing one, she was wearing merch. Like, yeah, she was wearing the merch. Oh well, that's like that. Fine. That's that's a legit thing. Wow. Like she wasn't being thrown off a cage <laughs> or lit on I fire. Mean, not or... that. Not to my knowledge. You, know. you never know what was happening back then. We could get Jim Ross to call that match. Shocked with a car battery or... <laughs> They're broken in half. Stephanie is in, like, crazy shape right now. Like, I I watched their, like, midnight workout things, mm-hmm. and it's insane. Like, it, like that's a level I want to be at like, yeah. one day. Like, like, she could seriously go. Like, it feels like, 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 like Shane looks the biggest he had, like, healthy biggest he's he's ever been, too. Right? It's like, what's happened to their, like, the McMahon family workout plan, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, that's well, you, you can see, see Sword, tonight. Shane looks real good. Sword, none of them get tested. <laughs> Even the 12-year-olds? That's illegal. Well, I guess they, I guess they wouldn't be independent contractors then, would they? That is true. That so. is true. So, I, I sure, but, hey, you know, he did bounce back from a helicopter. Okay, they don't... <laughs> 
Owens he like, no sold a helicopter. He no sold a hel- helicopter, <laughs> and then Owens brings it up and, and says, like, "And we talk about like things Enzo has been saying to like Corey Graves about how <laughs> you're a failure as a uh, about oh that Twitter exchange. Yeah, yeah. Corey says something about you know you're a failure. I'm a failure as a father because my kid just did like the Enzo dance. He made you, it the second base. Yeah, and he did the Enzo dance. Yeah, and yeah. and he said, no, you're a failure because you're wearing a suit instead of wrestling." Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. like just it, you know, and then we have Owens, you know, b- before that saying, you know, your kids would have been better off if you died in that crash. Yeah, <laughs> holy crap! Like he said that on live television. Yeah, <laughs> Enzo's was Enzo's was just like a tweet. Like obviously, like that's not real. <laughs> just jabbing. Tw- back nothing and on forth. Twitter is real. Like they're jabbing back and forth. But that's right, really. Right, right, I right. I thought it was great. The I'm point like, is that's for, funny. The point is for him to act like a horrible human being. Yeah, and I was I like, mean, this is perfect. This is yeah. right up. I, I mean, don't think is, he's acting. Good. You don't think he's acting? Either way, <laughs> entertain him for me. Hey, he's making money, Does, making do you, dough. Do you think he has Virgil syndrome? Where what? he thinks everything I mean, he's done is real? Enzo? Yeah. Could you he imagine? 20 Jersey. years from now, he's going to have created Hell in the Cell and every other pay per view. <laughs> he won the, the Cruiserweight Classic. <laughs> he won the Cruiserweight yeah. Classic yeah. while Universal Champion. I. <laughs> I T- Tina said it's treading on. I wish you died in the womb territory. <laughs> oh. That was so still was, not the worst. That was the thing. Bella Twins. Yeah, that was, that was, that was um, like uh, Nikki said that to Bree, I think. Oh, who said this? Dave's bringing this up. Or we couldn't wait for you to die, Dad. Was that like like Stephanie to Vince one time? That sounds that sounds right. That sounds. That, that sounds. I mean, the yeah. time you yeah. know, in the mom slapping days. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. comatose Linda yeah. McMahon. Oh, sh- <laughs> <laughs> that's funny stuff. How was there? a Thanksgiving yeah. dinner after that storyline? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the storylines you know, got weird. They probably, they probably ate it on so a are, table I'm covered sure in it's... money. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> like, that's they're not true. I'm sure that Thanksgiving dinner was loaded with piles. Like of Linda money. standing up out of that wheelchair and just like blasting Vince in the balls. Like <laughs> that was the, that was yeah, the days really. when like a ball shot. Was like jackhammer. really like like say like it was when it was still like a good like golden nugget moment. There's mm-hmm. a little pun in there for you, but, yeah. um, <laughs> but like one. the grapefruits, yeah, the gold, gold, golden grapefruit moment. <laughs> a the little gen- bit. The genetic jackhammer. <laughs> anytime, anytime you think about hmm, is or today's storylines pretty good? Just think back to that stuff. And oh it's, God, was it was it good or was it bad? <laughs> Who was it pushing Linda in the wheelchair that was like Vince's like mistress and it was totally Trish, like a Trish diva? Stratus, yeah, who Trish. is now remembered as a really good wrestler and epic like <laughs> performer, right? And, and who also not got out of going through a table by making out furiously with Bubba Dudley. Um, also acted like a dog in the middle of the ring, like not it, one of the oh vid- my god, yeah. not one of the Vivi's finer that. moments. No, 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 no. I mean, <laughs> in it, hindsight. Whoa. Also, kiss my ass club territory, like, I think, in that. Some, some of that was, out, you know, pretty fine. <laughs> <laughs> when Undertaker came out and says, maybe kissing his ass isn't so bad and shoved, like, JR into his ass, that yeah. was, like. Well, when William Regal had to kiss his ass, that was pretty funny. The first one. That was pretty funny. Um, Jerry Lawler's commentary had me, like, sobbing at the age of, like, I was I was young then. But like even like being younger, I was like crying at the commentary because I think Jerry Lawler was like legitimately like laugh crying, <laughs> and like that for me, like with anything, like whether it's a show or a movie or like anything, if if the people in the background are cracking up or like the person's cracking up so bad they can't keep their shit together, mm-hmm. it immediately makes it ten times funnier for me. So like. That I, I think that might have been different if his commentary wasn't so good, but like just the sound effects he was making and everything, and even like after because they kept replaying That's it. That's right, because he kept making like kissing sounds. Oh and my, stuff, like wasn't he? drawn out, like <laughs> and then laughing, like that yeah. really like high pitched laugh. Like when a guy does a high pitched laugh, it's like it's really funny to me. He's for absolutely some lost his shit at yeah. that point, right? Um, yeah, I there was uh, some a few things being being brought up in the chat room, like Katie Vick. It's probably the worst thing they've ever done from Bobby. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking and there of was, gender, there was Big Show's father. Yeah. Oh my God! Dragging the casket, yeah, out of the funeral. <laughs> Big Bossman put some chains up to it. 
and drug it through the cemetery. <laughs> I just showed somebody oh, the clip of because I I couldn't believe my like I couldn't believe like the way Jinder's been like he's just like a whole different person. Mm-hmm. And then I showed somebody like yeah this is what he used to do and it was the um, snake charming Santino's. <laughs> snake and i probably watched about like 10 clips of like all of those and just laugh cried ladies and gentlemen you're wwe champion yeah (laughs) yeah like i can't wait till those start popping up again someone needs to use that in a promo really they should use it in a promo like that would to me be like yeah don't forget like what what happened It it is inevitable that somebody is like hey i remember what you used to be right and just plays like all of his finer moments you yeah. know, between that to even just like he was like like a mindfulness guru like six months before no, two months before this, right? Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I guess getting taken out by Gronk at WrestleMania really ups your <laughs> really yeah. ups your status, right? Hey. In the pre-show at a royal. At this point, everyone's yeah. gonna be fighting with some kind of football player. <laughs> it makes sense. It'll be like it'll just roll us way back to WrestleMania two at this point, right? Yeah, there's a rich history there. Yeah, I mean, oh, that, they should bring that back. Can we just like have that kind of battle royal? What are we in New Orleans next year? Well, like yeah. it, it was all football players at the time, but I mean, I think you could bring in like any sports person because I mean, how many times has like a championship belt been given to like a baseball team that won the championship? They give it to yeah. a soccer team. They can... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. I guess the rest, oh, no, the rest no, no, no. of the world Let loves soccer. That. Guys. They gave that to a U.S. soccer team, mm-hmm. not yeah. like Sorg, any I'm, other country that actually follows the sport. Sorg, I'm pretty sure you don't remember what that battle royal was like. <laughs> no, I've rewatched it, it, it a little more recently, and then, like as far as battle royals go, I mean, I've seen worse on the Indies. I mean, let's be honest. But uh, I eliminated someone in a battle royal one time by biting them as hard as I could on the ass, and they just kind of it. Just launched him. He just launched himself out of the ring. That's great. That's that's a, sounds, that sounds great. That's entertaining. Yeah. Um, we're talking. I, I love. We're just like dragging the the bottom of of WWE storylines in the chat room right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Giving Road Dog material for his dartboard. Oh no, Road Dog. What's going on, Road Dog? You gotta stop hanging out with Justin Labar. I think that's the problem in the long run. Um, but anyways, what what else is going on at Hell in a Cell? Hey, there's a second Hell in a Cell match, and it's not the WWE Championship. I just confirmed it. Yeah. Every, you mean a third every, or a second? Every photo has a Hell in a Cell graphic on it, so I don't what, know what's going on. It's confusing. You have to see the subtext, because Mahal and Nakamura to clash for a WWE title at Hell in a Cell, next to New Day and Usos to square off inside Hell in a Cell. Like... We're not saying like, a giant. Is it like hell town a, limits, like outside of the town, inside of the town? Yeah. You're gonna fight in city limits, out. So what? In, what is hell in a and, cell now? In cell limits, it, out of it, cell limits. Uh, is there? A it's funny because I, I really doubt that that the uh, Kevin Owens Shane match is going to end inside hell in a cell because that's now false count anywhere. Wait, yeah, I, I did see that on. The, wait, that's a wait, false wait, wait, count wait, anywhere. They're match? calling it false yeah. count anywhere. They said it was in They're Hell in a Cell. Sh- Shane made that no, announcement. No, it's Falls Count Anywhere inside Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Shane so said that. They're going outside Hell in a Cell. I well, mean, it's inevitable, but... Why would you say that, though? When we were watching, he said that, and I was like, I think he's referring to a different match, so I didn't pay any attention to it. But, yeah, now that you say... There's a lot happening. How do you do a Falls Count Anywhere in Hell in a Cell? I mean, outside, it's kind of busy. City Limits match. It's, City Limits match? Yeah. Yeah. Hell, if, where is that town called Hell? Hell, it's Michigan. 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 There's nothing That's there should, but fields and a dairy. Queen. Actually, they should, they should be putting Hell in a Cell on. <laughs> I'm it. not kidding. You've been there, right? I've been there. You've been to Hell, yeah. Michigan. Yeah. Who, who who like was from Hell, Michigan? No one. No, 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 no. Like no, there was a wrestler that. that oh, really? That used to do that. I thought. Mm, Hell, I don't think so. Apparently. Mm. Uh, you're yeah. talking about the Tina comment here. Uh, let's see, Shinsuke, Dinder, and uh, Natty, and and. Uh, Charlotte and Natty are in a cage for Starcade, so it'll work itself out. Who's it, who's in the cage <laughs> for Starcade? Uh, Shinsuke and Gender and Charlotte and Natty, and we have no announcement on if if Starcade the star this random Starcade show on the Saturday after uh, Thanksgiving is going to be 
publicized in any manner? Oh, it'll it'll be on the network. I mean, it has to be if they're calling a Starcade, at least. Yeah, I mean, th- they can't say anything about it yet because Heck in a Sec hasn't even happened yet. Heck in a Sec. <laughs> I know you've probably used that on the show before, but I forgot about it. I have. Well, no, I, o- I only used that the week before because it's basically in a second. So, I mean, you know. Thank you. Thank Heck you. in a Sec. Thank you to How both you Tina. You're right. Uh, both Tina and Matt. Uh, Chris Sabin was from Hell, Michigan. I think maybe legitimately too. Chris Hi, Sabin. Matt. Uh, he's the one. What the, the one person from the one Hell, person? Michigan. Do you do you know who Chris Sabin is? Nope. Wait, so Hell is okay. right here in Michigan? Like, because that's uh, what they call no, it. Yeah, yeah. Other, other, other hand. Way. Hold Wait, on. Other hand. Mike hold, just... on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, Larry is our the... official Michigander here. He knows. Oh, Wait, shit. no, it's the other side of the hand. Yeah. I thought. Yeah, the camera reverses. No, it's, it's the thing. The Motor City machine guns. That's why. That's right. I, I don't think. I don't think it really matters what side of the hand. Is Michigan shaped like a hand. And, and Bobby like said, Max Moon was Max really? Moon built yeah. from Hell, Michigan. And the Upper That's Peninsula cute. is shaped like yep. a sideways middle finger. Do you, do, you, do you, <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. Sure, that, what was that again? Oh. Okay. okay. So that's, that's the UP. That's the that's upper, upper part. Peninsula. Do they okay. call it the UP? Yeah. Is there like a, a hand guide, like to Michigan geography? Nope. There's only two. Officially, it's no. called sign language, sort of. ASL. <laughs> ASL. What? American Sign Language. Oh, that that, that ASL. I, I was thinking. <laughs> oh my god! I went. I went to the oh. exact same place that you did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I your, flashed. Your ASL challenge is a lot different than other people's <laughs> ASL challenges, huh? Wow. Everybody's pouring waterheads and swords. Swords just <laughs> signing away. For for those who are interested, <laughs> I have I have done my intern duties and I've looked up Hell, Michigan. Oh no. <laughs> it's an unincorporated community in Putnam Township of Livingston County and it is near the border with Washtenaw County about 15 miles northwest of Ann Arbor. I'm going to Hell, Michigan. Yeah. It's not far from it's, where it's I go next really year. really not far. Yeah, yeah. And the so wrestlers true. that are linked in, in here from as being from Wait, Hell, is Michigan, that in the Hell, Michigan Wikipedia page? Uh, yeah, actually, it's a fandom. Oh, jeez, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, it's Angelus Lane, Chris Sabin, and Osiris. Oh, okay. Oh, Angelus Lane, I think we've had on the so, show before, so too. So, Sorg, yeah. Sorg, if you go to Hell, Michigan, you need to call it Hell Comes to Sorg Town. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that's my new video series. Um, So, Nakamura Mahal, New Day Usos uh, in Hell in a Cell. Uh, have we had a tag match like like a tag championship match in Hell in a Cell before? This is a piece of I don't know. Unless DX was um, involved, I want to say there there was one. Right, they've done they've done the elimination chamber. For right, a tag match. right, and that was I don't new. Know if they've done. I that. don't think we've done a tag title Hell in a Cell. That doesn't sound right. I'm looking forward to it. I wouldn't be surprised if it was on the pre-show though. No, that's not going to be on the pre-show. Well, uh, the Usos are in it. It has to be on the pre-show. Know, I don't know if it was a tag <laughs> title. There have been tag Hell in the Cells, but for the titles, I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there have been tag Hell in the Cells. Oh, um, DX versus Legacy. Alex is saying in the chat room. I don't remember that being a title match in Hell in a Cell, though. Like, the only DX Hell in a Cell match I remember was DX versus Big Show, Shane, and Vince. And that was the one where we yeah. saw Big Show's ass. Oh, yeah. That that also counts as bad moments. Uh, all right. Uh, other than that, we got uh, Charlotte and Natalia. Not in cell. Can't tell by the picture. And and I know you'll be excited for this, Mad Mike. We got uh, mm-hmm. Justin Gabriel and Shelton Benjamin, who I still have not seen a full match of as a team. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Did you say Justin Gabriel? This, you did say Justin Gabriel. I think you did. That's not even the right gimmick anymore, Sork. <laughs> I was going to say it was right here. Gabriel and I Benjamin. was really excited. I'm like, holy shit, PJ Black is teaming with Shelton Benjamin? Yes! That would be, Sign me up! That would be Shelton pretty awesome. Shelton Benjamin is for a worldwide underground. He did say you were going to be excited about this match. Shelton's changing his name to Shelton Mundo. Uh, but they're taking on the Hype Bros. Is it? That's the pre-show we, match. Is it the pre-show? It <laughs> is, and it's a Hell in a Cell match. <laughs> yes. Is it really? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. 
no, no, no. That's a heck in that's a heck in a sec match. That is a heck in a sec match, which is like, I mean, it's kind of their wheel. It's the Hell in the Cell pre show. Wait, so oh my god, I would love to see a wheel see inside the mini cell. So I I only see it could be like a playpen. It would be five six matches listed here. (laughs) They would just put gates up on the outside of the ring. (laughs) We have. Can they put a sign like by the local fence company? Like just, just like it's just like, like, like the Alleg- fence. like the Allegheny fence company you always see yeah. in the area. I I don't know why this just triggered this in my head, but what about like an invisible fence match? You know the dog <laughs> an electric fence match? No 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 no. <laughs> TNA did like that. You put the dog collars on them. No no TNA did that. No, but I'm thinking like the, you give the dog is like kind of the shark shock collars that when they 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 go out to the invisible fence and they get oh, get shot. Yeah, and it's just like them. Throwing each other like up the ramp. Maybe that's to the, the line. That's like a, a new age bull rope match. Could yeah yeah invisible. It's it's, it's bull rope match on a budget. <laughs> so some indie should do this actually, right? Actually, it's probably cheap. Sorg, have you seen how much those are? It's probably cheaper to buy an actual bull rope. It could be. <laughs> I mean, no no no. They're not actually buying an invisible fence, Mike. And setting it up. They're, I mean, the, we're, we're, you got to. No, no, Sorg, if you're going to do listen, it. Listen, I'm going to dig up this gym floor. You got to lay down this wire. Sorg, we, had, we had Cortez Castro use a taser on Joey Ryan's wet testicles. What? We have to do this now. Wait, 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 a precedent yeah. has been set. There were also tasers in the lockdown match at the, uh, at the last IWC show, too. Um, See, Kane so, shot Shane set. McMahon's nuts with a car battery. Shane was also wet, and he had three kids still, so he's fine. Oh wow! Those th- never mind. I was gonna. <laughs> I yeah. supercharged. I've been trying to get someone to Hashtag do the Honey Roberts. Badger cage match, where it's um, I have a giant dog cage I come out of, and it's the first person to shove them into that cage wins. <laughs> Wow! The get in the crate, ma- the get in the crate match. I have. I, it's like I don't. I don't understand why I can't make this happen. I've like thrown how, out the honey badger cage match challenge. How big is the cage? Um, it's That's for like, like, it's like Irish awesome wolfhounds. I mean, it's big. I think it, like it takes a couple dudes to like cart it around with my fat ass in it. So I mean, it's pretty big. Huh. That's like yeah, an I'm awesome not, not tiny exactly casket petite, match. So if I can fit in it, mm-hmm. I like that as a challenge. Like, yeah, you let the honey badger out, like, can you put it back in? Right, or, or yeah, or, or does just, the honey badger put yeah. you in? That's what, yeah, that's like the thing is like normally it's to get out of the cage, it's to get into the cage. I don't know why I can't get anybody. Like, it's no different than the uh, coffin matches. Yeah. Yeah. Fact. Yeah, so I mean, mm, what's what's fine. the difficulty? It's it's I I think it's a cool pitch. Yeah, I like it. You have the mayhem show support. There you go. Well, Thank we're you. going to email every promoter we have the contact of. We'll endorse it. Which is like four of them. Protest uh, your camera services. Uh, maybe five. I'm if on you... the shit list. Of three. So <laughs> oh, my odds okay. are fantastic. All right. No, well, I'm not we really we, on we know a couple list. in Texas. If you're willing to travel, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel <laughs> like we can get this to happen in that's Texas. That's true. Because. Texas. You can get anything to happen in Texas. Exactly. You think this is a Michigan thing? You think they they, they would do that up there? I oh, mean, they I've no- seen I've seen some crazy stuff in Michigan. Uh, they just call. It, never mind. Well, you work for in front of Juggalos. T- Tina says question. it's right up CZW's alley and maybe IWA Mid South. There you go. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome, Missy. I, I could only see you indicate so many times before. <laughs> oh yeah, you have the you have the. You, the, the Eyeline over there. there <laughs> Assistant go. producer Mike. Yeah, there you go. Hashtag, hashtag white ball. White ball. <laughs> that How you doing? Was, that How you doing? was that was pre-show. No, that yeah, yeah. Get get your was... mayhem gold to know why my new nickname is hashtag white ball. In the meantime, feel free to speculate. Um, I shouldn't even say anything about please that because I guarantee and email you know, your someone's going to do the dog cage match. 
It's gonna be like a like someone who doesn't even make sense, mm. and there's there's totally gonna be like a dog cage like match, Wyatt's, and I'm just gonna flip every table in my house. Like why is Chess Flexor in a dog cage match? It right, make any yeah. Kind of yeah. sounds like that, that makes sense. sense. I don't know that. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> well, oh my god, it's, <laughs> I, I guess it, 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 I kind of picture that hit their honeymoon like given that. given no. <laughs> just Chess given, Flexor in a yeah. dog Nikki, cage. Nikki Cross is gonna do a a dog cage match like on NXT with. Someone like oh, I, I like watch. Ruby Riot. They do steal all the good indie Ruby stuff Riot. on NXT with Ruby Riot. What, so wait, would this dog cage match be like a reverse kennel ah. from hell? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no, it'd be like a casket what? match. We have Matt Tressler saying stomp out cancer two match. There you go. Ah, oh, see, I there need Matt. Go. My buddy Matt will help me out. There you go for a good cause too. Badger Badger cage match for 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 cancer. Cage up, mean, mean cage up cancer. Cage up cancer. Rematch. Cage up cancer. I like it. A cage up cancer match. Ooh. There you go. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we make shit happen on this show. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There you go. I, I'm sad because there's not as many people walking by tonight because yeah. everybody was getting whiplash <laughs> looking at you dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorg. I'm still working on the rock, but. I'm, I try. Well, that's nice. You're also sitting. That's a comfy, deep couch. It's kind of yeah. hard to do that. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of hungry, Sorg. Yes, me too. It's getting late. Wait a minute. No, this is this is a segue. Hungry for Georgia gold? No, 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 no. <laughs> they don't pay us. They don't pay us. No, they don't pay us. no. <laughs> no, no. Don't fuck the chicken. How you doing? <laughs> don't don't fuck the chicken. Don't fuck the what pizza. What do we got here? The There's a the show title. What do we got here? <laughs> This will and this will be the My first name ad. Is Georgia? This is gonna be the ad they actually listen to too. A cup of pizzas. A cup of pizzas. A cup of pizzas. <laughs> By the way, I want to give a shout out, and I know we've had some really fucked up segues on this show, but our friend Brian Crawford over on River Talk Radio on River's Edge, um, he segues magically into a funeral home ad every week. And I've heard two of the segues. One of them I was present for, and I almost fell out of my chair in the studio. Uh, so, well, well Sork, isn't it, isn't it really easy to segue into that? Because all you have to wait is for some dead air. <laughs> Georgia, Boom! On my head. Boom! Now, so our good friends at Slice on Broadway have been supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepper pizza for a good long time here. They're right up the street here, right on Broadway, as we are. And, of course, with new locations, a uh, new one about to open up in East Liberty. I know Riz is very happy about that. He sent a Slice on Broadway selfie. But also they're down on PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, and Carnegie PA down on Main Street. And, uh, and, and they've been uh, really, really good to us. And we love going in there and chatting wrestling with the guys in the in the uh, in, in the uh, store too. Uh, so thank you so much, Slice on Broadway. Uh, you, if you're watching us live on theincline.com, there's a pizza challenge. I believe voting ends at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, help them win yet another Best Pizza in Pittsburgh award. Uh, they have been great with supporting us. We love supporting them. They're 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 a local original uh, from the neighborhood, and I'm glad to see that uh, Slice on Broadway. And we we had. We had the, the, the idea that they're going to keep spreading, and, and hopefully we get a slice on Broadway in Broadway, maybe in New York for Mad Mike, maybe in Broadway uh, with the Honky Tonk Bars in, in, uh, in, in Nashville or something. So uh, we're hoping the global expansion uh, keeps going for them. So great to see this. Uh, check them out, SliceOnBroadway.com and PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter. Tell them that the Mayhem Show sent you. And after you're done kicking in the door, don't make no, it. Don't kick it in the door. Don't know. I'm they here have for to the pay perfect for that. pepperoni pie. Think... Ah, <laughs> Mayhem sent me. No, that's How you segue. doing? <laughs> gently, gently open the door. Maybe with your foot. Call it a kick. No, you only yes. use your foot when you're leaving because your hands are full of pizza. All that good pizza. Yes. Yes. Walk to the counter. Slightly rock back and forth. Ask them how they're doing. Drop some dimes. Get a pie. <laughs> <laughs> leave alex is asking when you say don't kick the door does that mean i can't do this is a do do this is a sparta this kick. is sparta kick <laughs> this is oh hey this is sparta kick yeah uh, I, alex you can do that if only you order 300 pizzas at that point no i think you can yeah yeah i could yeah that probably works we'll be right back with the a big question sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more Find out more at 
sidekickmediaservices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are back from the break here. It is the big question time. We got the whole crew with us. We got uh, Ch- Ch- Chad, Chad the Enzo. How you doing? He was doing dances on the break, like, if that's what that's called. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's it's called happening. rhythm, pizzazz, yes. funk. Yes, we kept them from ordering a bucket, ch- bucket of chicken because we were really worried about... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> not great. Honey Badger is with us as well. She's waving. Hi. Hi. Sorry for you. <laughs> it's okay. We have an audio, audio version too. So, <laughs> And with us is Larry. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Thank you, guys. I, all, I'm thank a, you, Larry. I'm, 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 a, I'm a little jaded from uh, Chad dancing near my bubble earlier. In, yeah, he was my... He was really close to you. Yeah. A little shook up. A little bit. But safe and sound <laughs> in Poughkeepsie, New York is Mad Mike. <laughs> Dude, he's doing oh, his, yeah. He's dancing all over mm. his bubble. Well, Biggie stole his dance yes. move from me. So, I mean, if you want the uncomfortable level to go up a notch in this piece, I can I can make that happen. Let's do it. I'm not dancing. So, <laughs> just just say, no, please don't do that. No, please don't do that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it is time for you the... Just <laughs> tell me what it was and I'll, I'll do it. There you go. There you go. Chat room, let us know if you want to see that. Uh, but anyways, uh, Mad Mike, you have the big question for the night, and it's a doozy. I do, Sorg, because Hell in a Cell, it's this weekend. It's a big match. It's going to signify, hopefully, the end of the New Day in the Usos feud. But, you know, Hell in a Cell is a rather new invention. It's only been around, uh, you know, 20 years. It's pretty new. no. No, I'm saying in terms of wrestling, in, in terms of wrestling matches. In wrestling like we have years? not had that many. <laughs> yeah, in terms of wrestling matches, we have not had that many Hell in a Cell matches. It's only been around for 20 years. Like, okay. it can't even the Hell in a Cell can't even drink yet, guys. Let's get real. Half of those but, years were only like once a year, too. Exactly. Like, like if one, that, only one match a year. If that. If that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've only gotten an influx of it lately because there's a pay per view called Hell in a Cell. But um, my big question is, what classic feud before 1997 would you like to see get a Hell in a Cell match that never did? Can we kind of bump that up to 2000 a little bit? 12, since it was so. <laughs> no, no, I, <laughs> I, 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 I agree with 2000. I think that's a 12. Uh, no. Uh. Okay, okay, Mike, if we make a case for it, because I think we just stumped a couple people here. Sure, okay. All right. All right. Um, who wants to go first? You got, I, I will go you first. Got one? Um, before you dated it with, uh, what did you say, 97? Is that what you're... Yeah. Um, yeah. I was, I was going to say Edge and Christian, the Hardys, and the Dudleys. In Hell in the Cell. Oh, that'd be good, too. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> no. Well, no, uh, I, I think I stole Chad's answer. Um, yeah, but I think that was all those TLCs happened after 97, right? I think that was like 2000 edge. or so. <laughs> well, yeah, of course you're going to do the Edge one, right? Oh, Edge ones were, he's, he's, he was in a lot of Hell in a Cell. Yes, producer Missy? Andre and Hogan. Ooh. 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 I would. I, I'd love to see Hogan pulling Bobby Heenan against the uh, against the cell like Taker did to Paul Heyman. That'd I just, be great. I just want to see Andre throw Hogan over something. Wait, <laughs> like, all the, all the, so you're you're saying Andre is climbing to the top of the cell? Yeah, and and like throwing him over. Oof! Oh, amazing. Wow. That's like four like steps it. for Andre though on the yeah. ladder. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a fair that's point. He might even be able to reach. And, and it, would, especially if say, it was the original cell. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I would say kind of throwing out the idea of, you know, how bad a shape Andre was in from WrestleMania 3 on uh, for that. But no, I'm with you on that one. Uh, what about you, uh, Enzo? You have anything well, yet? Before Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Larry stole mine. I, I did not before steal Before it was dated. Um, I this This original match was was fine and I, I enjoyed it but just think of it inside a hell in a cell eddie guerrero 
versus Rey Mysterio for the custody of Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> with Dominic, yes! with Dominic on top of the cell. Dominic on the pole match. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How old was, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, you know, on 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 the Shane's kids. How old was Dominic at that time? Like thirteen. Nine. Nine, once you once you become a teenager, you can you're allowed. You know what? And that's a valid he, point for using Shane McMahon's kids, throwing them off the top of the least, cell. Yeah, yeah one of them. Around the same age. He, there, and yeah. he did get involved in that ladder match. Like he, we're still he trying tried to, to shake the ladder. He, did. he doesn't want he Eddie Guerrero to be he, his dad. And then he got involved in Lucha Underground about a month ago, right? Spoiler alert! Oh, but it ha- no, it happened. Hogan just went. Ooh, oh, I'm that's sorry. okay. Wait, why are you so? Why, me. Why, why are you? Did you do that? No. What was? Oh man! Look, that's Hogan. I don't play. Hogan's down. He's in the shot. That's that's oh, Hogan's Hogan. head right there. Hogan, Hogan took a dive. Hogan, Hogan took a dive because he Hogan drinking he's been drinking. Just, he no, he says, "What Hogan do you mean?" Just, those, Hogan those just words. thought of that Hogan and Andre Hell in a Cell <laughs> match, and he passed out to how much pain <laughs> he'd be in. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, he's yeah. there on the floor. You can see him in the right hand corner uh, behind the Sorgatron yeah. Media logo and video. And, and so, Larry, yeah. Hey, uh, fun fact though. Fun fact. That's the first bump Hulk Hogan has taken in 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. Fact. And there you go. Uh, so, no, yeah, so Dom- you Dominic on top of Hell in a Domin- Cell. Dominic on a Cell match. <laughs> With Eddie and, on the cell. and Rey Mysterio. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They have to climb up and get him? Yeah, you have to climb up and get him. Is this on is this on <laughs> and you have to And you have to like put him in a little backpack. You have to put him in a little backpack and carry him back down. Like Yoda? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to safely transport him like a like a father would, safely off the top of the hell in the cell and back back down to the seat. You can't jump off. You can't. You have to. So so is it like a sherpa in a cell match? Is that yeah? What it's we're doing it's literally here? taking custody of Dominic, and and taking him down from danger. I, I don't. There's so many layers to that. At, at the end of that, I think he carries Ray Mysterio down the cage because I think he was bigger than Ray. But either way. Like even back way. then, he definitely is now. Yeah. 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 Honey Badger? <laughs> you have an answer? I don't I mean you don't I mean, I know that's intimidating. I don't know if I can. You don't need to one. have a whole Star Wars reference backstory to your Yeah. Okay, I don't, I'm just I'm not setting the bar that high. I don't know if I can top that one. I'm like honestly not good with stuff like that because like I just I'll probably like name something and they've had a hell in the cell match or do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say something stupid. My trainers are gonna yell at me. Um, <laughs> I'm like trying to think of like. Well, as long as you don't say, what was that, Melina and 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 Alicia Fox or something uh, on on the Stone Cold Tough Enough? Hmm. Uh, actually, wish actually, I'd love to see that in Hell in a Cell now. Yeah, <laughs> Alicia Fox. <laughs> exactly. Alicia Fox. I can come back to you if something inspires you. Yeah, I got none. All right. Actually, you know, you know, I I'm going to take a cue from the Alicia Fox thing. I had one that I was going to say, but Trish and Lita. Oof. Yes. Trish and Lita deserve that shit. Yeah. They had. They like, were. They they were the first main event women's match in a cage on Raw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Trish and Lita Hell in a Cell would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the one I was going to say before I thought of that was uh, Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, mm. or Bret Hart. Because they never got to really finish that feud. Yeah, yeah. They HB, really never HB got HB to K finish Stone that. Cold. Never really got. So, wait, what are you thinking, like uh, Larry? You, are you thinking like Bret and Shawn in the in the cage? No, I was thinking cell? Bret and Austin. Bret and Austin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're replacing that submission match from WrestleMania. Hmm. Um. Uh, Oh, mine? Uh, Mega Powers Explode. Makes sense. Ooh, right? Yes. Right? So, or hey. you, could even do, you could even do Flair and Savage. Or Ooh. Elizabeth. What yeah. about Elizabeth? What about, I, I don't know the history here. What about Sting and Flair? I think that would be good. It's as, as deep as yes, just, that history was. Just in general, yeah. Sting and yeah. Flair. All right. We, we have a lot from the chat room. Um... Brandon is saying Edge versus Christian versus Jericho. Oh, that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. Uh, that could that'd be, be Canuck in the Cell. Thank you. Thank you. I was, I was trying to figure something Canadian. Canuck in the <laughs> Cell. Sorry, eh? Um, Hell in the Five Hole. 
how are you doing? I don't know. Uh, Alex says <laughs> um, Flair versus Dusty. Um, British Strong Style versus Undisputed before... Oh, I'm saying after dated and before dated. I don't know what that means. Like before or after like the age we're giving. Um, Dave says, uh, can can any way, anything really beat Hell in a Kennel match? Yes, almost everything. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, pretty much everything. Even a Scotty Goldman match. Uh, uh, Tina, Keith, sorry, oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was saying Keith Hot was reading my mind because um, I was trying to think of like other like epic uh, women's feuds and uh, Bull Nakano and a uh, Lunder Blaze. There you go. Yes, would have been sweet. Absolutely. Yeah, that would have been right on the edge of that debut too. Did Kurt and Eddie know. have a Hell in the Cell? That would be so. a good one. Yeah, that would be like a good to one too. That. Um, Who? Uh, and Eddie? And Kurt, Kurt Angle oh, yeah. and Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. No, they didn't. Any era. Any era of them. Uh, Steamboat versus Savage from uh, Dave. Yes, absolutely. I mean, mm-hmm. he, he did crush his throat with this ring bell. Tina's saying, oh, I love this. Road Warriors versus Midnight Express. Um, I get weird <laughs> around that age because ha- weren't they in War Games? Uh, sure. Kind of, yeah. But I mean, I know it's not like like two on two or anything like that. But War but Games still. is different. It is. It, War it, Games yeah, is different. Yeah, I mean, it is. War Games has like people entering the cage, people leaving the cage, like that. That's just what about styles? just throw them in there all at the same time. Joe, Daniel. <sighs> oh, that yeah, amazing that's series a- they had in TNA, and we just add a cell match to the end of that. Mm-hmm. I like that. I really like that. And four sided cell, not not six sided. <laughs> Four sides. <laughs> Please. God, could you imagine a six sided hell in a cell? Isn't I don't it, want to. Isn't it kind of the elimination that, chamber? That would be that would be Roctagon sort of. in the Octagon. It's hard That's enough many. for them to remember which side is the part that opens up. Yeah. You know, that you throw them through. Yeah. What were we saying? No, that's what I was saying. It's like a mini elimination chamber. Yeah. Like without yeah. the pods that open. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, well, they did that. That was called the Terror Dome. <laughs> You guys remember oh, that? That was the Terror Dome match. Oh, they did. Like there wasn't Where, um, a, it wasn't a oh, ceiling, but like they like the the you couldn't climb out because it, it was, was it was angled like yeah, it was like inwards. tapered inwards. Yeah, but still open. no, you could. The, the point was to climb out, and Homicide couldn't get up there. Oh, that one. Wait, wait, no, no that wasn't Terror <laughs> Dome. That was no, no, no. The first Terror Dome was no, WCW. That was, Dome. that was the Asylum match. No, 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 no. Trust me, the TNA match. Was the Terror Dome? We're gonna leave it for everybody out it, there it with was, the internet to was, look up on Wikipedia. It was first called the Terror Dome, and then they changed it to the Steel Asylum. Tina, okay, there you go. Tina will tell us. T- Tina, Tina, help us out here. Uh, Bobby says Big Boss Man versus Nails. Although no, now Big Boss Man versus Mounty would make sense, hmm. right? Spent the night in jail. I still really wanted that lockdown match in Royal Valley to mean that the loser went to jail. I really wanted the gavel of David Lawless and Officer Murphy to just be in whatever podunk local Royal Valley police station, and we filmed the spot in there. Right, right. You know, like, mm-hmm. and just mimic the entire Mounty SummerSlam thing. <laughs> just spot on with two guys. Um, uh, Brett, Brett and Sean from Rachel as well. And let's see, we I know there's a bunch of other ones. And this will—I know Tina. We were kind of talking about uh, Snooka's dive was on Pedro Morales. Yes. There you go. Uh, wait, no, wait. Was it Pedro? Was... I thought it was on. I thought it was on The Rock. I thought it was on Morocco. What did I say? Sn- no, Snooka no. And Morocco. Oh, we were saying. Yeah, I, I corrected Morocco. No, you're right. It's Morocco. I'm going to suggest okay. Mr. McMahon and Eric Bischoff. <laughs> oh God. In the heat of the Monday Night Wars. From 1998. From 98. <laughs> yes, if he would have shown up, he would have brought up. He'd be like, yes, I'm you know here. What DDP and Savage would have been great in the cell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they had DDP, a... like, to, give, to give some WCW love, DDP and Savage would have been great in the Goldberg. DDP and Goldberg would have been good, too. If they remembered the running time of the pay per view, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> well, could, you know, they they have the network now, so they don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you really want those two going at it now? Ooh, um, the, with his yoga, he's good for another ten years. Is he? I don't know. Is he? Jericho is. I know Jericho is. <laughs> Jericho is just an all around beast. Keith, uh, Keith, Keith Hot says Tully versus Magnum TA. That'd be good. Mm-hmm. Solid. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Snooka and Bruno, says Tina. 
Did they have a feud? Snooker was like a heel first, wasn't he? Uh, like uh, way back. Can uh, the confirm or deny? Uh, yeah, because I think he did like the whole. <laughs> the I think he did like the wild <laughs> savage doing? thing. So I think. Yeah, yeah, he was like like crazy island Samoa guy, and they they, they turned him turned him over. And Sorg, Sorg, we have confirmation. TNA was Terror Dome. WCW was Thunderdome. Oh, thank you. Which isn't that Mad Max? That is. Sure, it is. This is the third one, I think. Mm-hmm. Two men enter, one man leaves. <laughs> yes. awesome. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Welcome to Thunder. Jack. Cactus Jack and Terry Funk. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you thinking yeah. like barbed wire, like era C- EC4, C4 match under the sun? And so, if ECW was ever booked in an arena big enough for a cell, the Japanese death yeah. match inside Hell in a Cell, Ex- those two. exploding Hell in a Cell. Yeah, Oof. you ever watch the exploding death match? They were part no, of? no, <laughs> I didn't want to. Dude. I have it on DVD. I'm good. I mean, it's, but it's also got oh, what? Um, oh shit, I forgot his name. Come back to me. Nakamura Lesnar. Abdul the Butcher? No. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, who's the dude that pl- plucked... Um, um, Vader's eye out. He worked him in Japan. There's a dude that... He was also the dude who broke uh, Bruno's a... neck. Oh, Stan Hansen. Stan Hansen and uh, Vader. Oh, oh Stan geez. Hansen, yes. <laughs> Somebody would die. In a cowbell match oh, inside I... Hell in the Cell. Um, cowbell, Greg Cow- Valentine, cowbell and, in a Greg cell. Valentine and Roddy Piper. Oh, too. oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Da- Valentine and Piper too. Have you guys ever seen their dog collar match? Most of it, yeah. yeah. It's one Holy of them. Holy shit! That's that's JBL and Eddie levels of <laughs> blood. <laughs> what about Bret Hart and Yokozuna? Oh man, <laughs> Yoko would break <laughs> that cell. Yeah, I. I don't know. I don't think he'd get out on that one. He wouldn't um, fit through the door. No, well, yeah, he would. Yeah, he wasn't that big. He, he, he was. He was, he was that big. big. They'll just adjust the door. Come on. He tur- they. They would. Yeah. They, Wait, they would question. drop the cell around him. Oh come yeah. on! They were making extra large caskets for him. You think they can't just wind yeah? Well, the door. back back in the day, they did. They just got, dropped the cage around have, you. Yeah. Yeah. So there really have Taker and Kane door. ever had a Hell in a Cell match? Oh. Have they? I don't uh, think they have. Uh, Taker and Kane. They've I was wondering been... that about DDP and Taker. Because that was like one of the few storylines that like I vividly remember. Yeah. Because it was actually done well. Yeah, that reveal for yeah, DDP they... as like the stalker was really good. Then it got creepy. But it was really good. But it was still good. Yeah. Like, yeah. Those videos yeah. like leading up like in her garage, like I remember those being like creepy as shit. Like, there's somebody hanging out in my garage. And it was the thing that was, like, so different than everything else they were doing with WCW guys at the time coming in. Yeah. So, yeah, no. That... I wish they get back to that. Like, just, I, I don't know. I feel like anything lately is just almost, like, regurgitated garbage anymore. It's like we've seen, it's, it's like the watered-down version of something we've seen before. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I would just love for them to just... Just something original like that. Like they're kind of getting there with the whole Abigail now thing with Bray Wyatt, which I hope to God they're not making it like a real person. I disagree. I hope they are making it. Really, a real you person. don't want it to be a real person? I don't. I think it's gonna lose all of its power because it's like eventually. Okay, if it, okay, like let's just say it is somebody, um, and she loses a match. Like, how scary is she now? Well, I mean, it's like the, it's like the Kane reveal. Yeah. He well, was a beast it's, for like, it's like years. It's like all of Bray Wyatt's you know? career. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing too is like, I don't know. I just feel like it's, I'm just worried they're going to um, ruin that, like like that mystique. I think that's the right word. Yeah. Like that totally takes away her power if she's just this mortal if person. She, if she wrestles. It's going to be If she doesn't awesome. wrestle, they might be able to get away with it. I, I, like I have this horrible thought in the back, the back of my head that like, this is going to be like that uh, Roxy of the Row that came out with uh, uh, Billy Gunn and Road Dog. Yeah, with, with, the, with uh, the Voodoo Kin Mafia. Yeah, yeah. The Voodoo Kin like Mafia. when it was just, well, I mean, it was really random then. But like, why is this like well, Gypsy segwaying, coming uh, out with these two, with the but, former DX? That one, she, that one girl down in NXT is hinting that she's Abigail. 
Who is that? Uh, Sage. Sage. Who? Sage? Yeah, Sage Beckett. Sage Beckett. Oh. Sage Beckett. Well, she posted a photo that had like the image of a girl on fire. But like that's like the girl. perfect example, okay? Like, because uh, I looked on her Twitter to see like what everybody was talking about. You can't post like that you're Abigail, and then the next thing you tweet is like a cute Instagram quote picture. Yeah. Like the trees <laughs> are about to show us how lovely it is to let things go. Undertaker work. at Basic Girl two oh nine. Like <laughs> yeah. Like Agreed. no, Agreed. like you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. like like that's the, I don't know. Well, I'm like really big on protecting mm-hmm. like the integrity of like a character and things like that, or you know, just your your story. Mm-hmm. So like doing things like that, like to, that's why like I have like a love hate thing with the social media with with wrestling. Like it does aid in things. Like it is like really, really cool. Like as fans these days can interact with them, but at the same time, it's like it totally takes away like a lot of other things like you can't you can't post like the wrong thing like you have to almost be invisible so it's kind of especially a character's like you know undertaker is famously very private you don't see much you know outside of character he doesn't do interviews um something like I, and i don't think bray wyatt really does much on social media it's not mm-hmm. bray wyatt right so yeah. like well, especially those kinds of characters right there right. needs yeah. to be that consistency wwe did this on their own show mm-hmm. last night Right when they were introducing their cancer survivors, or the yeah you know, the the women who beat cancer and did they all you know the very good, uh, giving them belts and stuff like that. You see who was standing behind them? The girls that just got done fighting. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, they did that tonight too. Alex- Alexa Bliss was out there with Nia Jax and Mickey James and Bailey, and I'm like, I, I get what you're trying to do, but you literally just got done beating each other up mm-hmm. in it's a like- ring. And like yelling at each other, how much you hate each other, and you are literally standing one person apart. Like they did that tonight with the women's tag match; they were all standing right next to each other for SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, that's like when you um, do that. like you can't post about how you're going to kick somebody's ass and then take a selfie with me after. Like that's why, like I refuse to take photos. Like they'll be like, "Oh, let's this is fun. Let's take a like." No, doesn't work. Like the anti bullying. And then the rest of goes. Oh yeah, so to bully like, somebody. Like, like Seamus was part of the anti-bullying campaign. Was going and talking in front of all these schools and stuff. He's the uh, last person then, I would want to be on an anti-bullying right, right. campaign. And then, like a month later, he was in a bullying character, hardcore. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No. I, I mean, and I get the, the. Then they go. You know, you go to wbparents.com and they're like, oh, these are actors yeah. and they're portraying these things. And you go, da, 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 right? I, like, I understand where you want to go and what you want to do. And it's great you want to do that. Oh, God. But Watch it be you're Rosemary. Paying a, you're paying a small price. WWE's like low enough to do that. They'll totally sign her just to get the heat. Out of nowhere like that? Yeah. I, I guess I wouldn't are, put it past them. Yeah, I and, really wouldn't. And things are so weird with TNA now that uh, is that it's, what it's called now? Actually, that's the one thing it's definitely <laughs> this, not called. That's what it's called this week. That's, that's what it's it called this week. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I I don't know what to call it. So I I, 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 I thought they lost Global Force when Jeff Jarrett. The left. artist formerly known as TNA Wrestling because they didn't they didn't have uh, the license. for it. Th- what they do over there isn't art. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Aaron brought it up. Takes, a... It takes skill to be that like so that fucked up. Uh, he says it would be so cool that... if that was his actual uh, sister, which I don't. I does Bo. she? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he That's got thrown off the keep... Miserage. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, it all poor, makes sense poor Curtis now. Axel. <laughs> it all makes sense now. They all creepily do like look. They're like carbon copies with like. It's like that. Um, it's just how old I am. Do you remember that toy where you like picked up the magnet chips and you could make like hair and a mustache? That's Willy literally Harry. like Willy Willy. what yeah. the Willy. Wyatt like siblings are. It's just like different. Like you could move the mustache probably like onto the sister and it would look just like Bray. It's like their yeah. family tree has no branches. But the bow <laughs> version, as much as you try to move all the hair to the face, it won't it stick. Doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> stick. It just goes right around the back of his neck. Is the, <laughs> forms forms the long hair in the back. Keith Can't just, stick up front. Keith, Keith just says Mike Rotunda. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
wait, that's IRS. No, it's Sister Abigail. Anyways. I, you know what? If anybody could pull off a corporate cane, it would be Bray Wyatt just wearing the IRS gimmick. Haircut, haircut and all. This, you know, this you is know a what's change. scary? Part of the side. Taxes. <laughs> W-2s. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. You forgot to claim Abigail on your taxes. You... <laughs> <laughs> Boom. She, she's not listed as a de- defendant. Go back, go back and listen to the Bray, old Bray Wyatt p- promos, and they're just all a rail against his father's profession. <laughs> yeah. You know? I, mean, I tell you what, man. So, the, like, I hate you, Dad. The world, yeah, yeah, just, just like a subtext, everything with "I hate you, Dad," and "I hate paying taxes." You know, f the government kind of thing. Because it's so this outsider thing. I mean, you know, it kind of makes sense Down there, right? Like, your name's not Bray Husky. I love there. The, there was the you know, he said, "I'm going to tear my flesh away and reveal myself." And then underneath <laughs> that line, somebody just posted a Husky Harris picture. And I was like, <laughs> "Like he comes out, rips his beard off, and just has the smile." Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> or like the last thing he says to Finn Balor, like, "You can't beat a man with two last names, Balor," because <laughs> his name is Wyndham Rotunda. Oh, really? Yeah, his name is Wyndham Rotunda. Oh, wow. He doesn't have a first name. His all of his names sound very round, like Wyndham Rotunda. <laughs> it just seems like it's like a it's like, I don't know circular like a science yeah, term. It just seems yeah, like it, it, it's like his his body type was predetermined. It seems spherical. <laughs> yeah, like it's I yeah IRS was just conjuring. Is it when they um, uh, Bob, the the real Bobby witch doctor was IRS. What's up, Mike? Bobby? Bobby in the chat room says, "My daddy didn't depreciate my hard work." <laughs> <laughs> May Emmers, what'd Bobby. you learn from wrestling this week? Bravo, bravo, Bobby. What'd you learn from wrestling this week, Mike? Um, I've learned that I have corrected my friend's son, who now, when watching wrestling, will just go woo while he's watching the show and it scares the hell out of my friend because she doesn't know why it's happening. <laughs> why are you making these noises at this random television show? Right? Yep. But uh, I, I told him, I'm like the, the mating call of the wrestling fan. All you have to do to see if there's a wrestling fan near you is just go woo into open atmosphere. If you hear it returned and you're not in a cave, there is a wrestling <laughs> fan near you. It is like a weird bird call. St- sticking with that. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Then I, then, I, then I have a correction. Sticking with that. I uh, heard a podcast that Charlotte was on last week where she was talking about an update on her dad. And uh, he was up walking around in the hospital, still a little delirious. And he just breaks out into a strut. A Ric Flair strut. And starts rattling off like... Uh, attendance numbers from like 1984 while going woo wearing a gown <laughs> it was i think it was the sam roberts podcast i think oh, he's but, on his way um, back so basically he's fine <laughs> he's, saying, he's, he's rick flair yeah <laughs> oh by the way there was a correction i'm sorry keith uh micah rotunda is the sister's name micah yes when I'm not, oh, they're just not create. They're just not creative in that family. Apparently they're not. Just, Blackjack just, Mulligan. They're just not. Is that, aren't they related to Blackjack Mulligan? Yeah, it's like it's like a, a Middle America Samoan family. <laughs> you know, just everybody's related. <laughs> um, <laughs> where the hell are they going? <laughs> Who's next? Did you? Did you go? I'll, I'll go. Yeah. Back. Um, uh, I made me think of something last night. I saw a couple, a couple people talking about it. Uh, what's her name? Was interviewing backstage. She had the white shirt with the black tie. And <laughs> yeah. She looked very oddly Char- like was it Ivory. Charlie? Yeah, she looked very odd like Ivory from or Right Ivory. To, when she was in Right to Censor. Mm-hmm. And I just thought, man, Right to Censor would be clean in house today. They have a, the, a, the right. Today's world would have been ripe for Ooh. Right to Censor. Who was that? That was 
Chuck Stevie, Palumbo and Stevie Richards. Oh, Richards. He's, Val Venus was in there. Godfather. Richards, Venus, yeah. Palumbo wasn't in there? Good father. No, good no, father. I don't think so. And Bull Buchanan. Yeah, the, the good father. Bull Buchanan was probably here. Oh, think. okay. Uh, but Richards started it. And I just think in today's in today's world, he they could go crazy. He would have had so many different avenues to pursue for it, right to censor. Drew Gulak, the modern right to censor. Yep. A little bit, Kinda. yeah. Kind of, yeah. He came out tonight with a no chance sign again. He, he's part not as right extreme. to censor, part overprotective parent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Right he to is. censor got extreme. Like, Yeah, they did. Yeah, they were. They they would be cleaning the house. Well, today. Right, to, right to censor also existed in the height of the attitude era when we had chicks taking off their tops and. Yeah. Like real, real and, racy and, shit happening. Yeah, I don't it, know if there's anything too racy happening now. And it's, it's a response to like you don't have the par- parents' uh, uh, television council railing against them and trying uh, threatening to take away sponsors. Yeah, like they would. That's what it was a response to. Yeah, at the time. But but story wise, they would. Yeah. They have. They 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 would have a gold mine right now. Honey Badger, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, that Cesaro's little brother is wrestling on SmackDown, whoever that guy is. Aiden English. Aiden English. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cesaro's what happened if you put Elias Sam uh, Aiden English is what happened if you put Elias and Cesaro in a blender. Yeah, yeah, kinda. It's actually kinda weird because he has some red in his beard, so there's like if like Seamus and Cesaro had a kid. Like a little bit of like, because he's paler than Cesaro too. Mike Canellis was getting his ass kicked by um, Bobby uh, FJ Bobby, Bobby Rude earlier, and I could have swore it was Sami Zayn when I first turned it when they first turned it on. She's like same ginger beard and everything. Jeez. Man, that that went away quick, but I think he's having some problems. So, and Mar- Mar- Maria is pregnant, I think. Yeah, so yes. I, she wasn't out there tonight. Yeah, she, so. she, I don't think she's cleared to probably won't work. see her for a bit, like nine months. Um, pure speculation. Maria, oh, and, pure Maria, speculation. Maria and Maurice are going to have baby battles. What's that? Maria and Maurice are going to have baby battles. Oh, man. Everybody's got to one up each other in that group. Um, anyways, we got a ton from the chat room. Uh, one, Jesse says he watched the Mayhem show for the first time in months and he gets tax funds. Hashtag, hashtag damn it, sword. What's up, Jesse? Have <laughs> you done your taxes? Um, uh, Tina, da, 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 thanks to Alexa Bliss. I am just three years away from Depends and a Walker. <laughs> Shit, I'm four years away. Fuck. Oh, well. Yeah. Young yeah. for snappers. Uh, Lucha Underground. Alex says Lucha Underground can put on a death match. <laughs> Fuck, they can. We, uh, Mike and I talked about that on the midweek war last week. Uh, that that what was the war is hell match, right? Hashtag glass hole. <laughs> I, I mean, and you think like being a very Hollywood production, they would have used. I mean, there it was definitely a like, kind of a safety glass, but definitely not yeah. a safety glass, mm-hmm. right? It was a safe dish glass. It's a safe or listen, the shards are no more shards, just giant chunks. Microwave safe. Microwave safety glass. It's just it's <laughs> basically the plate, the same type of glass they use inside the microwaves for the Lazy Susan. Um, do you think, because I've seen the channel, do you think that uh, Charlie Caruso was going for, for the Catholic school girl uh, look and just accidentally dressed it like right to censor? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's a Halloween, Halloween thing. costume. Is it a Halloween it's thing? It's entirely possible. something new every week. Just like just dress like past gimmicks. Could be. Um, She's gonna be Goldust next week. <laughs> oh no, she'll be Goldust Terry Runnels gimmick. next week. There you go. Brandon learned that Cena has to be on every TV show. He was standing next to Nikki on Dancing with the Stars during the judges' scores. Sure, you gotta support. That's his. I hope his hair looked better. It's gonna be his wife, right? Yeah, yeah. They're not married yet, I, right? I don't know. I haven't caught up with Total Bellas. Like, ever. <laughs> Good answer, Sark. <laughs> He's too busy with Chris Lee Knows I, Best. I'm going to have Good a sick answer. I, yeah, oh, don't get me started. Um, I'm gonna don't have, put him on blast. I, don't put me on blast, Larry. <laughs> no Larry blast. 
Uh, no, I'm going to have a horrible sick day and just watch every Total Divas and Total Bella Sunday. It just, it's inevitable. You're never going to get that time back. You know no, that. No, 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 no. Oh, I've watched worse. Uh, but Sorg, I mean, Sorg, Sorg, it's worth it. It's worth it? Wait, 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 wait. Which part? All of it. Are Getting you? sick, puking <laughs> up to Total Divas and Total Bellas, all of it. If I'm going to puke to anything, it's going to be Total Divas. Can you live stream that? <laughs> Maybe I, I really want a mystery I, science not, theater. That if he's puking, it's definitely going to be a live stream, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, mm. It's your job to remind me if I tweet about how uh, that I'm deathly sick one day to say, "Are you streaming?" It's my job to remind you if you tweet something. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you just did, Sork. <laughs> Larry, what's your Twitter handle? You don't even know. <laughs> I see what's my. <laughs> you should have seen me. Out. You know, she just lost it. I will eventually tweet Sorg. Thank you. I have people that will tweet you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We never explained what you actually do, but I'd love to hear what everybody thinks you actually do now. on Twitter. <laughs> just, based, based on my no, Twitter. No, no. I don't just, even know what's no, on my just Twitter page. In I've life. never looked at it. See, just in Larry's life right got, now. Larry's got this true character kayfabe going <laughs> he does he has that separate he keeps them he does very that. you don't see active. you don't see him him doing selfies with people nope no, nope never no. No, like just just straight never because he doesn't <laughs> straight you, never. you should have seen the conversation when i was trying to figure out what his email was yesterday um <laughs> <laughs> like, why do you want my email <laughs> You have my phone number. You can just text me. <laughs> no, no, but I need other people that yeah, are no, in I this know. decade <laughs> to communicate things with you for business reasons, and <laughs> and now they know about your Hotmail account. Yep. Um, <laughs> Bobby F. J. T. And you can find Larry on Geosites. What's the, you know, it's uh, not AOL, so Geos- get off my back. Yeah, <laughs> just, just write something on a paper and grab one of them carrier pigeons. <laughs> It's just like Game I of Thrones. I prefer smoke signals. Go find him. <laughs> Bobby learned that Enzo shops at either Oshkosh Bagosh or Jim Bree. Also, how you doing? I, I learned WWE failed us tonight by not having on fashion files. Son of a bitch. <sighs> way to mm-hmm. play the world with has been a darker place without Brizango. Every way, way, way to play with everybody's emotions and ruining Tuesday nights for the fashionistas. Um. Renee was dressed pretty con- cons- conservative as well tonight. I, is there something going on in the back? Was there a memo? Uh, it's because and, it's and cancer month. So Jesse also says, hashtag total badgers. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> it would, like, that would literally, if there's, like, anything as not as entertaining as total divas, it would be, like, cameras in my house. It actually... It actually might be a little entertaining because um, my husband likes to scare me and to like cry. So people would probably get like a lot of joy out of that. Not like in a mean way, but it's just like I'm like you saw how I reacted to fucking the Hogan cutout falling. Now imagine like trying to do something that's like actually scary. Thought she was pointing at Enzo. <laughs> Enzo scares me too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Said every bucket of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping dimes. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Certified G. Holy shit. I learned, I've seen um, uh, every ceremony in wrestling. Uh, because there was a baptism in the ring <laughs> this weekend. What? Did they it, pump the baby? Um, <laughs> no, no, there was no, it wasn't a baby. <laughs> it wasn't a baby. It was Chris Taylor. Oh, uh, <laughs> video will oh be... I thought you meant on like WWE. I was like, oh, Rev's going to be pissed. <laughs> 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 I thought he was going to be pissed about uh, the one guy in Ring of Honor doing a pulpit segment. And he was just, no, nah, it's cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, you can't like, like, like when Nikki Cross hit the, Hit the scene in NXT. I was like, "All right, I, I see you, I see you." And then, like, I think like a week later, um, who was it? Uh, I get hit in the head a lot, so I don't remember things. Um, redhead chick, it'll come to me. Becky Lynch. Um, 
was like, I'm SmackDown's version of the Honey Badger, and I like flipped my coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> maybe no, no, no. Like, maybe just, no, no, maybe wait, wait, cameras wait. in the house would have been good. Yeah, yeah this is total Badger. That's, that's what's <laughs> happening. Also, like picking out the right cage for that match and everything, you know. Yeah, that would make sense with Carmella. Like, I'm not saying like I like like I'm not that. Like I'm not saying that the WWE is looking at me, but it was just like Jesus. Like, cannot can there be? She's running around. She's like biting the, and it was like right around the time that she came out. Like me and Beast Man had just got done doing like a quick little. It wasn't even like a thing because that is wrestling. But like we had just tried. We were trying to get like a tag team thing going, and like she's biting the ropes just like Beast Man, and she's like running around like clawing at her face and just like losing her shit. And I was like. Okay, <laughs> I'll just wait. <laughs> Somebody's paying attention. Somebody's paying attention out there. Maybe. So probably not. Um. All right. Hey, Honey Badger. Great having you here on the show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank this you was for cool. joining us. I'm glad you had fun. Sorry we scared you. It's okay. That Hogan, he scares anyone. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he does. Give a long enough on a long enough timeline. He'll he'll get you. It's the mustache. He'll get you. Uh. Well, on, make- go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just excited for the um, Enzo dance with like music, like the full. Right, like I, I want, wanna, I want the full. I want to remind everybody that we are Creative Commons on this show, which means you can take this video available easily for download on Facebook and YouTube and do anything you want with it. Tell you what, sir, you put up that green screen, and I'll do all <laughs> kinds of stuff. I'm never going to be able to key out that hair. Are you kidding me? You no. totally should do like Stephen Colbert did the thing with the dancing zebras like where can you put dancing enzo and like the best one gets like uh chad we're scheduling something on slack tomorrow all right all All right right. because i (laughs) because i have ready access to a green screen and And, yes and we do have a pair of scare house tickets that we can give away (sighs) oh look at that look how perfect that is That's I what, I want I want you to put an, um Chad as Enzo dancing in the background <laughs> of Vampiro entering at Lucha Underground. Oh, <laughs> is it still to the Bailey theme where I put it last? Uh, yes, of course it is. <laughs> because <laughs> evil, come on now, unholy Pope Vampiro to Bailey doing the 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 mm, mm, kind of move is like the greatest. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing when I was editing that video. Um, uh, Brock Lesnar still coming down the country boy <laughs> is is still pretty high. We need there. to come up with another one of those. We need, re- we need to send those back out for people that haven't seen those. They're over on our YouTube. Just, just geez. They're great. They're, They're amazing. They're really great. <laughs> but, They're really, really great. Uh, oh, social media. Uh, <laughs> we just talked about. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, I'm on Facebook. Uh, it's my full name, Regina Badger. Um, I'm on Instagram at Regina H. Badger. I think my Twitter is re- at Regina H. Badger or it's at Regina Honey Badger. I don't know. I don't know how to use Twitter. I really don't. It, it's I like, I, like I, I don't get it. I can't keep up with it. But like I, I have a hard time posting on you, social you, media as it is. You need people like Larry has over there. <laughs> See? You know, just <laughs> take care of it for you. You need... No. I was trying to come up with like a good name for like badger minions but it, it escapes me no you need <laughs> bad <Hogan>. jets <laughs> it's not on the screen it's just... oh it's not <laughs> bad jets go back oh. to that ad at, ad at the break that's who we, we, we help with social <laughs> bad media. jets make me think of, like these like little french animals <laughs> <laughs> like, like the... baguettes but <laughs> bad jets they just have like little berets on <laughs> Like, uh, like <laughs> your broker, like uh, was, was uh, Renee. Broke. You Renee, can take any of these ideas. Is it Renee it? Beret? <laughs> you, there's a switch to turn the mic off. It's just, you know, wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Chad the Shed on the Twitter. <laughs> Chad, yes, yes, you can find me on the Twitter at Chad the Shed, and you can find me anywhere else at Chad the Shed. Cause like PSN, you can't find me on Facebook on, on for Chad the Shad, but uh, Instagram, I believe. Actually, I don't, I, well, I don't know. Look, just look it up. I'm the only one out there. You, you can find <laughs> me no on other Facebook Chad the Shad. I, I don't believe. I, 
pretty sure I'm, I got it. I'm going to start a Facebook page at Chad is Chad. <laughs> Are you? Are, <laughs> and just put that picture. Back in the day when they had fan pages, like way back, I had a Chad is Rad page for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Every week I would just say, oh man, I am awesome. <laughs> and I just send it out to all my friends. And like, boy, they did not like it. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we I, just, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was an it's an acquired about taste, it. I guess. <laughs> we, we talked about where Larry is not on the internet. Uh, uh, Mad yeah. Mike, Matt <laughs> Go down to your local hardware store and get yourself a, a cage for some pigeons so you can talk to Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a rug so you can start fires. What do you need fires. a cage for? They can nest in your hair. Oh. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Mad Mike is on Midweek War. But this week, follow, follow his social media. For uh, his adventures at New York Comic Con. Yes, I, I will be all over the New York, the comics, and the cons. And of course, at Sorgatron on the Twitter for me, SorgatronMedia.com, where we have uh, plenty of fine uh, podcasts uh, talking about comic books. Scarehouse, uh, a bunch of scary stuff. And I'm trying to remember who the interview is that just came out over there. And uh, we have a lot of geeky and tech and, and uh, cool stuff over there at SorgatronMedia.com and some other. Guy, guy that used to be on the show that is now a Pittsburgh hobo has some fun stuff that we filmed recently. So go check that out. Uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Make sure you subscribe to us. Share this with your friends. And like I said, we are a Creative Commons podcast. Do whatever you would like with the video. No, that was... oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. How you doing? This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.